Our next presenter is a man who needs an introduction. <laughs> this, this is not because he's not a star of stage, screen, and television. He's actually one of the biggest stars in each of those fields. It's just that he's a writer. He's received two Oscar nominations for Oh God and for Tootsie. And he won the Tony Award for A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum. He developed, co-produced, and wrote quite a lot of one of my favorite TV series, M.A.S.H. He's without question one of our best. I always enjoy seeing this man's name at the beginning of a script and on the end of an introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Gelbart. The successful screenwriter, one who is the author of more than a clever set of license plates, is a poet pragmatist ready at the drop of a hold button to change the script so that the part of Mother Teresa can be played by Goldie or Dusty or Whoopi. And if the writer is ready and willing, but considered unable, perhaps a problem of water on the brain that the director has no trouble walking across, the writer, the writer is either, either rewritten or partnered with one or more collaborators, often unknown to each other until their hands meet over the same award. Here are this year's triumphant survivors of a system that would have made the Marquis de Sade cry uncle. <laughs> the nominees for the best screenplay based on material from another medium are The Color Purple, screenplay by Menno Mayas. <laughs> Kiss of the Spider Woman, written by Leonard Schrader. Out of Africa, screenplay by Kurt Ludke. Preetzee's Honor, screenplay by Richard Condon and Janet Roach. The Trip to Bountiful, screenplay by Horton Foote. And the winner? The winner is Kurt Ludke for Out of Africa. I was very much honored by the company in which I was nominated. Frank Price made possible first the script and then the movie. Judith Thurman, Karen Blixen's biographer, was a rich source of intelligence and insight and invective and became a friend. I'm grateful to David Rayfield for his help, both writing and editing. Mrs. Gummer, thank you very much. The nominees for Best Screenplay written directly for the screen are Back to the Future, written by Robert Zemeckis and Bob Gale. Brazil, screenplay by Terry Gilliam, Tom Stoppard, and Charles McKeon. The Official Story, written by Luis Puenzo and Aida Bortnik. The Purple Rose of Cairo, written by Woody Allen. Witness, screenplay by Earl W. Wallace and William Kelly. Story by William Kelly, Pamela Wallace, and Earl W. Wallace. The winners are Earl W. Wallace, William Kelly, and Pamela Wallace for Witness. to thank the members of the Academy, and I have to say hi to Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> I have an uneasy feeling my career just peaked, but <laughs> I, would like, I would like to thank all of the marvelous talent that converged on our screenplay 
That's from the bottom of my heart. Further, there was one person who, when the screenplay was finished, put wheels on it. That was Nancy Hudson, my manager. Uh, personally and publicly, thank you, Nancy. And Christopher, it's past your bedtime. I would like to thank all my friends onshore, of course, and all my friends offshore, but I'll refrain from doing that. Yet I would like to thank Paramount and Ed Feldman for taking our script and making the vision we had. As for the vision of the Academy, all I can do is repeat the words of Humphrey Bogart. Here's looking at you, kid. 